Uh, Kyle, you haven't raced in a while, but is it first of all nice to make your World Supercross debut? And how do you find being in the UK and the, the event? Yeah, for sure. No, stuck to be here. Um, grateful to Giacomo and the, the Nils Honda team for having me out here. Um, it's been a long I really wanted to do it last year. Obviously, I was hurt. Um, didn't know what was going to happen, and, and thankful to have, have the opportunity this year. Uh, England's been great. The UK's been awesome. Uh, started the night off great. Uh, whole shot. He raced win, and then, man, just struggled. Uh, kept spinning off the gate and just not, not really riding aggressive enough. Um, so maybe that was nerves. It is what it is. Uh, I know what I need to do know what I need to learn from and uh, come out swinging for Singapore. Coming off, and I think you were coming off an injury. I mean, have you had much time to prepare for this, much time in the bag? Um, yeah, so my injury was last year uh, with my neck. But, yeah, it was a big one. So I had arena cross season, took a little bit of time off after that, um, and then just started getting ready for this. Obviously, bike, bike setup's a little different than arena cross. Everything's just a little bit different, so... It may take a little bit of time to get back to back to where we need to be, but you know, uh, good first round. We're coming out healthy and uh, know what we need to do. And just on the track, how would it compare to arena cross track? I, it's not exactly a full-on AMA supercross track, sure. but it's not arena cross either. Yeah. But it's sort of in between. It was quite basic in a lot of spaces, I think. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, definitely a lot different than arena cross. Uh, not as gnarly as the AMA, but also the way the track broke down it got really gnarly um so it definitely made the track more difficult than what it it could have been if it didn't do that so um yeah the the wsx guys did a great job on the track uh keeping it up just just everything and uh i like the format it, it gives us three three races to, to get it done and unfortunately i didn't really ride that great in all three of them. <laughs> but uh yeah that's how we got and just race. on the format have you ever raced a format like that before and you said three but technically it was actually four with the red flag yeah yeah <laughs> true um so arena cross we did a two moto format um with a little bit of time in between this is obviously quicker but uh but yeah i like this format i, I feel good in it uh I feel fit everything's good the bike was great team was great uh just Got to figure it out on my own. And World Supercross going global, um, in terms of your longevity, it's probably give you an extra few years in your career. And how important do you think it is to go around Europe and other continents that uh, audiences you usually wouldn't get to race in front of and get to meet new people as well? Absolutely. That's uh, It's great being out here. Uh, to go global is a, a dream of mine. You know, uh, when I first heard about the series, I, I'm a Supercross guy, Arena Cross guy, whatever you want to call it. Um, and, and it's perfect for me. I do Arena Cross in the winter come out uh, summer, fall time, come and do this, and uh, it, it works great. So I'm pumped to be here, uh, pumped to race in front of new fans. Uh, these these people don't don't get to see it all the time like we do back in the States. So uh, the fans are next level. They're stoked. They're uh, they're loud and, and getting rowdy. So I love it. And there's obviously a big break now to round two. Have you, have you got any races planned in between or not much and just all going to be at the practice track? Yeah, no races planned, uh, no outdoors or anything like that. So just grinding it out at the practice track and uh, trying to get better, so.